And so we come to the Euro Sermon and to the weekly shake of the Holy Mystery Box. One of the things I'm looking forward to is people helping me discover and find out what we can learn about God from what I bought from the Euro shop or pounds or, or deals or those shops so that we can share in the journey of learning together. I've had to work so much harder when I have to use my brain to think about what it is we might learn. So let's see what is in this week's holy mystery box. Well, in this week's holy mystery box, it looks to me as uh, though, well, I shouldn't say it looks to me because I know what I bought. I have bought some, well, what we might call Lego. I don't know if it's actually Lego, but we have bought something that looks like Lego. Do you enjoy playing with Lego? I kind of had a little bit when I was growing up, but I, I never really had the kind of brain that enjoyed building things, although my own children have always enjoyed playing with Lego. And many boys and girls love playing Lego. What's your favorite bit that you have, or what do you like to build? There's so much choice, isn't there, when it comes to Lego. But the one that I've bought today is part of the Build X Construction Series. Got this from Deals, and if you go into Deals, there are different ones there as well. There's all sorts of different Lego ones. But the one I've bought today, oh, there's plenty of pieces there, isn't there? That would certainly put in half an hour building that. But the one that I've bought today looks like when you build it, well, it tells me there's 56 brick pieces, and it tells me that it is a work crane. A work crane. Looks like it is a lorry and on the back of it it has a, a hitch or a hoist that can lift things. And that's probably very useful if you are building. Maybe you've got a lot of bricks and you want to lift them from one place to the other. Then you would use probably this little bit of machinery. Although I've got to say I don't know a lot about building. Only what I've learnt and seen from others in the parish who are brilliant at building, whether it's building walls or building houses. I know there's lots of very gifted people when it comes to construction and building. So what can we learn from this set? Well, what I do know from what I've learned and what others do is that if you're going to build anything, that you have to start from solid foundations, don't you? You have to, to dig the trench first, and then you've got to pour the concrete in and you've got to let it set. And once that is set, you've got a good solid foundation, whether it's for a wall or a house or something else. That's the way to go, isn't it? A solid foundation. And then whenever something is built, then we know that it will stand true and it will stand firm. Maybe we've seen walls or seen other things that have been built and once the first little bit of wind or rain or maybe someone leans on it and it falls over because the foundations aren't solid or good, are they? And it reminds me of a story that Jesus tells in the Bible. And he talks about two different people and they're going to build a house. And so they buy two bits of land. One buys a bit of land on a beach and another buys a bit of land in the field and they go and they build their house. I wonder what happens to each house, because the story that Jesus tells says that the storm and the wind and the rain and the waves came in, and one house stood firm, and one house fell flat. Which one do you think it is? The one that was built on the beach and the sand that didn't have good foundations, or the one that was built on firm and solid foundations? And what Jesus was trying to teach <clears throat> is that we, as boys and girls, as adults, we build our lives on all sorts of things. But the most solid foundation that we can build our life on is Jesus. The most solid thing that we can build our life on is Jesus. Following Jesus, learning from Jesus, living the way that Jesus teaches. So that's what I thought today in this Euro sermon. It's about construction and the tools and the things that we use to build a solid 
foundation. We're called to build our lives. As we read the Bible, as we pray, as we follow Jesus, it's like building on a solid foundation. So no matter what comes along in life, we know that our faith and our life will stand firm. So I wonder what I'll buy next week for our Holy Mystery box. Until then, take care of yourselves and have a good week. And we're going to join together in the next of our songs, Don't Build Your House on the Sandy Land. Let's join in these words as we sing together. Solid spot, all the storms will.